In the quaint town of Pickway, Ohio, two inventive fourth graders, George Beard and Harold Hutchins, thrived on pranks and comic books. Together, they created the greatest superhero in the history of their elementary school, Captain Underpants. George and Harold's world turns upside down when they accidentally hypnotize their grumpy school principal, Mr. Krupp, convincing him that he truly is the daring, ridiculously dressed Captain Underpants. Whenever someone snaps their fingers, the transformation occurs, turning Mr. Krupp from a strict administrator to a bumbling hero, donned in nothing but underwear and a cape. One sunny afternoon, a real threat loomed over Pickway. Dr. Diaper, an evil scientist with plans to take over the world, Lao. NCHED his Diaper Modage 2000, threatening to turn everyone's brains into mush. Unthinking, George and Harold snap their fingers, and Captain Underpants springs into action. With no actual superpowers, Captain Underpants was an unconventional hero, relying mostly on his sheer luck and the boys' guidance. They raced across rooftops and through alleyways, chasing down the V. Illinus Doctor, Captain Underpants flung his underwear like a slingshot, ensnaring Dr. Diaper's minions and tying them up in a tidy bundle. After a series of slapstick mishaps, the tribe O oh, finally cornered Dr. Diaper in his hideout. Using their wits and a makeshift slingshot from underpants, they disabled the Diaper Modage 2000 just in the nick of time. With the day saved, they returned to school, reversing the hypnosis on Mr. Krupp who had no memory of his bold, underpants-clad adventures. Back at school, George and Harold snickered, knowing that the sea tie of Pickway remained safe under their secret, unlikely guardian. Captain Underpants might have been a bizarre hero, but he was their hero, resolute and, most importantly, elastic bandit.